All right, let's do it. And here we are doing it, despite the raindrops coming down. But here we go. Another afternoon delight. But first, let's see what's happening here. Maybe something. It's been a while. Folks are out, many of whom don't have masks. But don't see any bubbles yet. Oh, there are some bubbles. Okay, well in that case, we'll go check out the bubbles. Somebody there playing live music. But across the way, the man. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, how you been, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Been all right, great. Yeah, I saw you on TV. Yeah. Man's back in business. So stop in. Still doing his artwork there. The, the bubble artisan. I never get tired of that. Never get tired of that. <laughs> really yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just shocked some of the time so I'll come down here and do friends with them, you know. So. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Still got the frog. Fun toys, right? Fun toys, yeah. <laughs> no. no, these are my these are my samples. I have to show people how to use them. Yeah, I don't want to have any of the samples. I see, yeah, I see. Hard to put those down. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. You got everything here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at all those bubbles. Jeez. Are you guys bubbleheads? Reminds me of Lawrence Welk. Here he calls Lawrence Welk. And over here across the street. There's three buildings there are slated for demolition, December 2020. <laughs> Everything from Tiber Park on down. Oh. And of course the bubbles again. Bubbles over the old National Pike. Bubbles over the pike. There's an appropriate sign. <laughs> now for an obligatory walk up Main Street, Old National Pike. Again, I'm talking through a face mask, so if I sound funny, don't laugh. I should have had a heavy rainstorm here a few days ago, but all the flood stuff acted properly and the place didn't flood. Fortunately. Man, too loud. Too loud. Again, our happy feet. And welcome back to Maxine's. Hello. How are you? Well, I saw you on TV the other day. Yep. <laughs> She's famous. You're famous. All oh, right. Keep, we hope so. Bring the. There goes our doggy friend. <laughs> Where'd he go? How'd you all. Me? Yes. I'm good. Pretty in pink. Good. Thank you. I've had green and green and blue and blue, you know. 
I'm gonna try to get you some business, okay? I'm gonna try to get some business for you. Yeah, say it in the... Yeah. I'm gonna put it on here. Recommended. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everything well, helps. I said, you know, I said what I was meant to say. <laughs> and they haven't done anything to fix the water, so... Oh, All right, please. lady, come on. Oh. All right, guys, you take okay. care of yourself. Thank you. Good luck to you, too. Have to get more business. You. Good luck to you, too, okay? Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Take care. We right. love you. We love you, too. Yeah. <laughs> We're back outside, obviously. But apparently Kaplan's has a new front, or a fake front, whatever. Will it stay? Will it be torn down? Couldn't tell you about that one. And back west on Main. And now back east on Main. Gotta conserve some energy. Ooh. Sidewalk sale. I already have a sidewalk. And Maxine's. Another Bullfog approved business. You gotta go in there. Help them out. Right there is Tiber Park. Everything to the east, this direction, will be torn down this December 2020. Those buildings right there, you see be a big gap there in a bit. And here's this guy one more time. We need this right about now. I can see where when they when I went up there after they, they took it off the, the, the whole back and they just washed it right the whole back there. Aren't those bubbles wondrous? Yeah, they're beautiful. Look at that thing looks like a beach ball. <laughs> we need this to keep us going. This keeps us sane. Wonderful. Good job. He's got the knack. Got the knack. You gotta, you gotta play with bubbles for, and forget your coronavirus troubles. You do, troubles. yeah. There you go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> play with bubbles forget coronavirus troubles. There you go. That's a good Make a rhyme out of it. Yeah. Yep, you've got the knack. Like that 80s rock group. What's that one? Drano? Oh, down the drain. Very bubbles go up in the sky. Go up in the sky. The same there's some places. Can't bounce back. And there's our man. And here is the original National Pike, brought to you by your bullfrog. And the blue there is Maxine's. I recommend you patronize the lady. Very nice people in there. And of course, bullfrog approved. If it's bullfrog approved, you gotta go there. Oh, there's Taylor's. Didn't see that today. And up here, the newly restored Clampett House. Before they moved to Beverly Hills. New foundation, new stone foundation is boasting there. Did a good job around here. And the flow control is working so far. But no really heavy rain quite yet. We're now heading for the site of the relocated Enchanted Forest. As we did in our last video, an enchanted Sunday. Well, today's Saturday. And it'll still be somewhat enchanted. Now west on MD-98. But about to have a look at something up here. Our enchanted area. And here it'd be on the right somewhere. Will that be part of it? And here's where you enter in. Have a quick look, I guess. That's one of the main entrances. 
to the original Enchanted Forest when it was still located on US 40 before we moved to this farm. And more cool enchanted stuff. A great enchanted place. Good place to bring your family. But I don't have a family. I still like it here though. And there again, the one time main entrance. Okay, he recalls the Enchanted Forest. I guess you gotta be from Baltimore to recall it. And of course, it's sun-powered. And again, you're right. It's Bullfrog approved. And the Bullfrog, as a kid, went to the original site. Now back on Route 108, trying to take a bit of a different route than our last ride out this way with my brother. Another enchanted day, like last Sunday, but today's a Saturday. We're going to try and make this route a bit different than the route I took last Sunday with my brother. Nice drive through here. But I'll still try to vary the route. And up here we have Sandy Spring. Just a crossroads. And here it is. Now passing through Alney. Had a few drops of rain earlier, but at least that stopped. Now it's rather sunny with temps in the 80s. And now we're in Laytonsville, complete with flags. Patriotic place. They even have nice barns around here. I guess. We're still on Route 108. We should eventually be arriving at Route 27. This part of the road, I haven't seen yet myself. Last Sunday, my brother and I took a bit of a different route. We didn't stay on 108. Still, I like the old stuff. Yeah, there we go. Churches with their own cemeteries. You don't see much of that these days. Oh, that's right, if I were practicing, I'd be going to a church with a cemetery. Almost forgot. My bed. A cool house there. I'll take it. I can maybe afford it. Now we're entering Damascus. And departing. A bit more traffic on this road. I was looking for a couple of highway numbers, but didn't find them. We're coming to something up here. We'll have a look. And now we're on Maryland 355 northbound. Formerly US 240. We used to connect to US 40 in Frederick. It got demoted 
with the opening of, um, I believe it's Interstate 270. This road eventually takes you to Frederick, Maryland, and of course behind us, Washington, D.C. Uh, who wants to go there? Not me. I just turned off onto Stringtown Road. Another inane circle here. Back at you. There's some development to the left, looking suspiciously recent. But they haven't been there that long. Well, open space. Won't last long, though. And apparently, things here are being rerouted. The old road ran up there. You were just on it. And I've had old and new meet way up there. Both routes meet. And I assume become one. One more of these. South 121, that says. Trying to keep on it. Old road blocked off there. But to the south, back on the old road. Jeez, that was a trip. And more open space. Wow, look. Better get it while it's there. And a deer in the woods there. Or in the grass, whatever. A deer just standing there, if you caught it. Well, I went to the new road, and boy did I find one. Curves and all. Cool houses too. Hmm. Yep, I found myself a road all right. Now passing through a park-like area, and apparently very busy. A few seconds ago we crossed over a lake I've never seen before. But anyway, now arriving in Boyd's. We'll go check out the Mark Station. I now stop by Boyd's Station. Here in the Mark train line. Well, CSX actually. And over there, the station itself. Yep, fancy station here. I'm looking west down the line. And east. There's even an underground walkway here, but no longer being used, apparently. But it still comes out the other side. Right up there. There's where it comes out. I guess it still does. Now departing, Boyd's. And now we're on Barnesville Road. I suspect we're heading for its namesake. Yes, indeed, I was right. Barnesville. I'm not heading for Barnesville Station. Sounds like a 70s rock group. And here it is. Or rather, here it is. A former gas metering station. And apparently, we can still go inside. All right, turn the light on. Cool. Interesting spike. Somebody left there. 
And of course, all kinds of cool artwork here. Well, that one's a bit more appropriate there. And of course, the Potomac River. And back on the road again. Okay, where next? Actually, our next hotspot will be Poolsville. And here it is. Never there. The former bank at Poolsville. Probably long closed down. Like the old banks ran our way. And now departing Poolsville. On the horse we came in on. But, being it's after 6 p.m., and I've got about a 60 mile drive, may as well take her back to the city. Oh, I'm so excited. And again, up here, passing the site of Barnesville Station. One of the barns right there. Station, of course, to the left. We were just up there, though. No CSX. They call that their Metropolitan Subdivision. Or MetSub for short. More CSX to come. Not much more, but more to come. Now entering Barnesville proper. Cool name for a town. And of course, Mrs. Brown's attic. Gotta go up there one day. Now heading north on Route 109. And over there, Sugarloaf Mountain. Looks like a sugar loaf one day. Another interesting place to visit. Tried going back there in the 80s once upon a time, but I couldn't get too close, it was off season. Now entering Hoggettstown. Town. 355 again. You were on this road before, to the south to the right. As mentioned before, this is former US 240, which got demoted to a state highway from a US highway, and the number changed as well, with the coming of 270. Even 270 got a number change, when the first one in it was called 70S, and the other, the regular 70, was 70N, north and south. I guess it got too confusing, so they changed it. But here, hang a right to pick up 75, as I did last Sunday in the last video, with my brother. This will be deja vu for him, and maybe for some of you, as I brought you this way before, two or three times. I wish there was more to see along this road. But for now, I gotta make a couple of turns here to stay on the route. And what comes in? How about that? Wonder if he's in. Never mind. Now arriving in Monrovia. Another CSX spot. The original line before 1905 would have crossed up here at grade behind that shed and then along there, along the woods there, to meet with the current line, which are about to pass beneath. And there is the current line, what they call their old main line. 
this country's first railroad. Now it's time to pick up the freeway. And here it is. Along with the rest area, rather way station that's rarely used. I've seen it used in a few years. How many millions did it cost to put that in? today. I saw a few new things. And a place you've seen before. Yeah, we had our fun. Of course, still that. Do your part. I am. Looking far away, I'm for the cars in front of me. Almost back in the Baltimore area. No, we're not going to see New York. He's not on this trip. Maybe one day in the future. That was a sudden move there. Caught on SD chip. the usual stuff out there. I'm doing five miles over the limit, but still getting past. I've done ten ever before, but still gotten past. I guess they're all speed freaks out there. But my speed freak days are long over. But what does one do? Nothing. Still. This gets annoying after a point. You obey the law and your past. Enjoy your COVID-19. Enjoy. Whoa. These folks are flying by me. Seem like they're in their own world. Nothing else matters on the outside. As you can see. Yeah, even government trucks. They're in their own private Idaho. Or so it seems. You're all witnessing it. You're all eyewitnesses to this. Nothing's changed. Flying down the road and sudden lane changing. That's why I don't use the left lane. Too many jerks. Anyway, up here, back to our part of the world. Yeah, back on surface streets. As I keep saying, I thought all streets had surfaces, or they wouldn't be streets. And up here, back in town. And back in the hood, as per usual, after driving 175 miles, pretty good journey. But once again, thank you very much for the privilege of your time, for riding along with me. More to come. And to all those on the edge of your seat with bated breath waiting for the next one, it'll be on its way soon. I better go in and do some editing.